Month two, Berbers, analysis and comments. Is this guy only playing Berbers? Holy shit, dude. The fuck is this? This looks like, you know when you, you drew like a city when you were three years old? This looks like the city that I would draw. Okay. So it's that time again. August 2021 was Berbers. For my Aztecs post, click here. Okay, so he's doing a different sieve every month. Okay. I was pretty stoked to try Berbers out as I've been to Morocco and I've seen their wonder. All right, blah, blah, blah. Unlike Aztecs last month, Berbers have a pretty open tech tree with lots of options. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, he went 22 pop man at arm build into archers. Okay, not bad. Um, 21 pop scouts later. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm looking for something funny to react to. Not finding it yet. Okay. Okay. This, dude, this would be so much better as a YouTube video. Am I, am I right or am I wrong? As a Reddit post, this is, this is draining all of my energy away. I can feel myself being fucking sucked into the nether right now. I can't. Like, if, if he starts it off, like... So I'm back again for my monthly review of a civilization. This is where I play all month on one civilization on the Age of Empires 2 DE ranked ladder. Now, some caveats for... Uh, this challenge before we begin. I stop playing when I'm too tired or foggy. I stop doing bad forward castles. Being more patient with transitions. Like, you know, move on. Exactly. Exactly, dude. It would be so much better as a YouTube video. Every time I listen to this song, I can't stop thinking of the first track on the AoE 2 soundtrack. Okay. It does kind of sound like Shamburger, doesn't it? It's got the it's got the bass line and then it kind of kicks in with the with the drums. Da 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 It's all right. <clears throat> Rip lobby browser again. How on earth are the multiplayer services not working properly for one month? Also was disgusting before, question mark? I understand if there are bugs in the game due to old 1995 game engine, but the... 1995? But the lobby browser, again? Come on, Microsoft. You are not small indie company. You can do it better. Give the people the change to play and enjoy your game. Sad smiley. I understand, brother. Preach it. <laughs> I understand you. <laughs> I fucking understand. <laughs> Future idea. Flat terrain toggle. Would it be technically possible to make a toggle button that would make the terrain flat, but only visually? This would really help tremendously when building on hills. Basically make all tiles elevation one visually like in the scenario editor. Oh my god You know, this is not a terrible idea um, To like visually toggle just for you, but can you imagine this someone accidentally hitting this hotkey? Also, I think it would fuck up I think it would fuck up like units pathing over hills because if you think about it I don't know would it? It's the same tiles, I guess, theoretically. Huh. My brain my brain gets all mushy when I think about it. <clears throat> I'm that I know pathing, it would be the same distance, but like visually. You know, because units seem like they're going slower when they're going up a hill. So if you flatten that down. Like, would it have to expand the map outward? It just, yeah, okay. Anyone else having lobby issues? Yes. Huang, knockoff, chills. Huang, knockoff, chills. Anyone else get a gold chill, go down their spine... Gold chill? Go down their spine randomly when ladder fighting? What? 
had a queue where I wanted to play tr Trash and Tines, but switched at the last second to Franks with no real reason aside from a cold chill. I don't know how else to beat them aside from Axemen. I fail when trying to compete with Brute Force 9 out of 10 times. What the fuck? When ladder fighting. Is he talking about people going Celts? Dude, somebody get me a fucking abacus to translate this shit. I mean, come on. Holy. Word salad? Exactly, dude. Word blender. F-W-I-W. -W. What does that mean? For what it's worth? Is that for what it's... Have any? Has anyone ever seen that... That... I've never seen that. I've been on the internet since before you were born. And I've never seen it. They have used it wrong. Okay, there's a bigger speed gap between eagles and militia line than spears and knights. Makes the whole using gold to counter eagles even more punishing than it should be. Never mind that eagles are hard counter more units than heavy cab do. Or sorry, eagles hard counter more units than heavy cav do. Siege archers and monks better than heavy cav do without hurting your fudico. He spaced this sentence out really weird. And spears don't work against them. Literally only gold and food intensive infantry counters eagles. Like what the fuck? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I still feel like... I don't know, man. Eagles have been kind of a little bit strong since uh, they gave the option to start building them in feudal age. Because then you can start massing them before you hit castle, right? And obviously when you got that option, you did get the other upgrades. So I guess they got a little bit of a boost. <laughs> Think about this though, folks. Think about this, okay? Aztecs and Mayans were still two of the best civilizations in the game without feudal age eagles without the castle age eagle upgrade eagles were literally useless in the castle age in old age of empires the conquerors expansion literally useless they sucked terrible you'd have to wait to imperial age to use them and they were still two of the best civs in the game i don't think they're going to be that heavily impacted uh, if eagles are nerfed a little bit. Well, maybe. Maybe Aztecs, because Aztecs carry bonus and free loom and stuff got got uh, got nerfed a little while ago. Suggestion. Lith relic bonus cap to three and applies to infantry. No. <clears throat> After seeing some tier lists being posted on here and binge watching Ornlu's campaign videos, I decided to post my own tier list campaign... Oh, dude, is there one on here? Where's the link for this? Yo, I want to make... I'm making that today. I'm making it today. 100%. 100% making it. Someone get me the link for that tier list. Is there is there a link on Ornlu's YouTube video? How the heck do you beat the AI? I'm convinced that it isn't even possible on harder difficulties. I've spent eight months here, FML. Yeah, you you have, and you're gonna spend eight more <clears throat> till till I let you out of the basement. Thank you, fetch for the eight months. Appreciate it. How the heck do I beat the AI? I'm convinced it isn't even possible on harder difficulties, like hardest. Their building output is ridiculous. Their army production and coordination is impossible for a human. Their extra resource slash faster building times break the game. And the computer does these moves simultaneously. Unless you're playing islands or have at least three allies, I'm convinced it's impossible to win. Even with F3 game pauses. My armies won't build fast enough, plus they die very quickly. Plus, the AI can move units in large spread out formations, not even an option for the player. 
I like a challenge, but when there is no chance of winning at all, it just feels broken. This is like a fucking copy pasta. Does this fit in Twitch? Ah, it doesn't fit, dude. No way, dude. No way it doesn't fit. It's like literally just need this. No, dude, you can't. Puppy saturation, it doesn't fit, dude. You can't. Who even needs paladins anyway? Fuck you all. Your lives are so okay, guys, stop. Tax break just for out with you. Stop. I am convinced it isn't even possible on harder difficulties, like hardest. Their building output <laughs> is ridiculous. Their army production and coordination. Okay, we get some trues. Their extra True. resources slash faster build times. Break True. The Dude, true. Thank you for the five months, Ron. True. <laughs> okay. Spending over 2,000 res and nearly three minutes of game time researching Paladin upgrade. Okay. Unique tech. Unique tech for Strong Cavalier. I don't, I don't know, man. I, like, if I'm looking at these Cavalier... That feels nice. That's like, you need a castle anyway. I, I I don't know. Um, What the fuck Civ Icon is this? One of these is the Malians. I know that for sure. The Malians one is okay. It's not great. What's the other one? Bottom left is Malians. Bulgarians. Ooh, Bulgarians. I haven't really tested that one out too much. Okay. Chinese plus three villager start. How good is it really? I was wondering how many villagers you're actually ahead with the Chinese start, considering you have to do loom instantly and that there is some idle time. You do have loom while well, your opponents don't and they still have to get it, but I personally only seem to be barely one villa ahead of my opponents. Bonus points if you can translate this to resources in dark slash feudal age. Ideally, you're going to be a villager and a half ahead if you do it, if you do it really perfectly. You might even be two if they have some idle time. So uh, clearly it's worth it. It's just, is it worth the stress? Is it is the Chinese start worth the fucking blood pressure rise? You will die early if you main Chinese. That may be a hot take. Fuck you all. Your lives are so <laughs> sad. I get a charity tax break just for hanging out with Yo, you. Yo, cop blind me. Thank you for the four months, brother. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Burmese champions. I played a game versus Burmese. Slavs versus Burmese. Burmese champions had plus seven attack, whereas my fully upgraded Slav champions had plus four. I looked at the tech tree for Burmese, but couldn't see where the extra plus three attack came from. Does anyone know? Yes, we do know. It's a Civ bonus. <clears throat> my teammate in a random 2v2 made the cutest little town with tight alleyways. Dude, this is, a no this is not cute. This is fucking... This is, this is horrendous. This is fucking, this is, a, a t this is terrifying. I, I get anxiety looking at this. Why did he make the farms outside of the gate? Brother, this isn't Sim Safari. What the fuck? At least make stone walls. I know. What is going on here? He can do all of this, but he can't he can't make a proper lumber camp. Look at what how much res does he have? This looks all chopped. This is like this is this used to be a forest. He's chopped it all with that one lumber camp. He didn't take sheep. Well, clearly he doesn't want to kill the sheep. What fucking city has farms inside the city walls? My fucking city, dude. Because <laughs> that's where peasants belong? Okay. Extra sub, thank you for the gift sub, dude. Appreciate it. Okay. Follow me on TikTok. Everyone, follow me on TikTok.
<laughs> Fuck TikTok, go away, we don't like it. I will convert you. <laughs> cringe? Dude, that's what you came here for. I embrace the cringe, dude. You know what's super cringe? All the fucking politicians getting on TikTok and doing that same dance. And they have like the worst green screen, screen ever and they're like dancing in the front. Like Jagmeet Singh is all over that with the Canadian election coming up. He's all over that. He's got so many TikToks and he's just like dancing in the front with people in the back. So fucking cringe. Okay, literally random would be more balanced than the ranked Empire Wars Q. Empire Wars feels great. I love it. For me, it's the action from the start that age should always have been. But my lord, the team queue is a wreck. Surely there's something that can be done about it. I haven't played Empire Wars team team ladder. Is it good? Or is this guy right? I must be old. What dance is this? It's a TikTok dance, dude. I don't know. Are TikTokers old enough to vote even? Dude, there's so many old people on TikTok. I was so surprised. I started browsing videos yesterday. There's people like twice my age on TikTok, dude. Like what? I think like, okay, you know the morning shows that um, that moms watch? Like all the, the most trash entertainment ever, like Ellen or like the Today Show or whatever. I think they've stopped w the view. Perfect. I think they've stopped watching them. I think people are moving away from television and now we just have to have really, really terrible memes in a video format. And that's what they're watching now. Hey Dave, I followed you on TikTok. Now I want to see you dance. Nope. <clears throat> okay. So you ha how's the team game queue for Empire Wars? Is it good? No one, uh, maybe I, maybe someone told me. No, I haven't tried it. There's still no balance here with the elo? Okay, cool. Okay, let's watch this. Blue venting kind of sus. What? Deja vu. <laughs> oh my god, dude, he did vent. Did you just see that? He did vent. Uh, what the, the fuck? fuck? Alex, can you clip that, please? What the fuck was that, dude? What? Watch carefully. Deja vu. I have what? been in this place before. What? Did you just see that? Uh, I like what the it. What was that? Alex, can you clip that, please? What the fuck was that, dude? I like oh, it. That, that is That's nice. I'll give that an upvote. I'm not logged in. Uh, I have to log in to give it an upvote. Uh, I think we'll pass for now. <clears throat> okay, should runestones be permanent in the RM map pool? I mean, I like runestones better than the new Arabia. Am I right or am I wrong? Like, is it replacing Arabia? Because I think I'm not sure. I must be logged. I can't even give my... Fuck. I like Ventrilo. Okay. Maybe you can hop in your time machine, go back 10 years, and have a party with all the other people that like Ventrilo as well. Log in on mobile to vote. Listen, I deleted all my other apps, all right? The only app that is still active on my phone. Fucking TikTok, dude. That's it. That's it. I'm a TikToker now. That's all that's on there. <clears throat> you make us sad. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> Thanks, Luis. <laughs> What's wrong with Arabia? It's very predictable, man. It's very... Oh, this is Ornlu's Civ thing. Oh my god. Okay, well, that's the end. That's the end. I guess, because uh, we ran out of new stuff. This controller TikToker is very cringe. 0% based. Alright, barf sword. 
Listen, the day a guy named Barf Sword is telling me that I'm cringe. Yikes. Come at me, Barf. I have a feeling we're gonna see a lot of that dance. No, it's already old, dude. Joke's already done. Joke is already done. At least flossing takes some skill. True. Yeah. Exclamation mark full time. Exclamation mark streaming career. Keep going, Roadrunner. Keep going. Roadrunner, keep going. Didn't I want to see what you're gonna guess next? Follow me on TikTok. <laughs> Where's the tier list? Born Lou AoE. Well, <clears throat> well. Did he not give a link to the fucking tier list so his his YouTube commenters can Dude, what? He didn't give a link to the tier list? It doesn't exist? Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Orn Lu. No, that doesn't work. Um... Age of Empires. Na 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 The fuck? <clears throat> One Piece Mills? <laughs> Hey, there it is. <laughs> we just should go back for one piece of mills. <laughs> okay. Campaigns. Rating them. Alaric sucks. Barbarossa is pretty good. Uh, Bari was a C. This one was a C. William Wallace is definitely an A. El Cid is pretty good. Vlad Dracula. I didn't really play it enough, so I'm going to put it C. Gajamada didn't like it. Genghis Khan is A for sure. Um, Grand Dukes. That was okay. Actually, uh, I don't know. Hauntville. Actually, Grand Dukes was alright. I did some speedruns on that. This one. Uh, Till of the Hunt is S for sure. Avilo. There. Joan of Arc is A. Kachian is A. Laloy is down here. Edward. I haven't played Edward, so I'm going to put it down here. I haven't played it. Montezuma. Oh my god, A. <clears throat> this one I haven't played, so I'm going to put it down here. Um, This one I haven't played, so I'm going to put it down here. Genghis Khan is S. Um, I'm reserving S for like the very tippy top in my... Remember, this is, a, this is my opinion. You know? This is my opinion. Barbarossa is S or A. I might move Barbarossa up, but there's there's a couple annoying levels in there. Saladin is A for sure. Um, this one, I didn't really play that much. I didn't like any of the campaigns from... Uh, for, uh, Forgotten Empires. Um, I didn't like any of the campaigns from Rise of the Rajas or any of the ones from uh, the African thing. Can't remember what it was called. <clears throat> I think that was really like a low point for campaigns. In those expansions. Sanjata, no. Tamerlane was okay. Uh Tariq, no. 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 Jan Jiska. I thought this one was okay. The only problem with this is that Bohemians are a very annoying Civ to play when you're looking for, like, campaign-style compositions. 
Like, what are you going to do? You're going to spend your whole time building up Hussite wagons? And if you're not making Hussite wagons, what else are you making? Are you making champions? That's it? Champions and, and hand cannons? Like, it's kind of boring, you know? Okay. Algirdus and uh, Castidus or whatever. I like this. I really, I think they did a fantastic job on this one. And then finally, this one. This campaign... The fact that I'm putting a campaign from 2021 on S tier is is amazing to me. I never would have thought that. <coughs> the voice acting was on on point. The level design was fucking innovative. Amazing. Lord Baston an amazing job, dude. It it was really really good and the story behind it was great. The story had so many fucking ups and downs. It was like that guy's Berber's graph. If you guys haven't tried this one, you should, because it's really good. Lord Bass made the new levels? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he made this one. Like, the whole the whole storyline of it, too. Like, she was with the one guy, and then she went with the other guy, and then she realized he wasn't a terrible guy, and then they tried to work together to hold the kingdom, and then there was the brother that wasn't the brother, and he was the rival, and then they became friends, and then it, it was fucking everything, dude. It was amazing. But it, it still doesn't compete with Attila the Hun. I, Attila the Hun, I played that campaign thousands of times as a kid, and I've speedrun that campaign hundreds of times, and nothing compares to it. Nothing. You sent? Are you seeing a trend here, though? <laughs> Just all old campaigns, <laughs> and then all the new ones are down here. That's called nostalgia, friends. That is what that's called, nostalgia. What did what did Ornlu vote for his? Oh, he had a till up there. Where's just Wiga? <clears throat> oh, episode. Oh my god, he's got seven episodes. What expansion is Jed Wiga? It's the newest one, dude. If you haven't if you haven't played it and you're a campaign fan, set aside a weekend. That's what I did. I Saturday and Sunday a couple weekends ago, I played through all the the new campaigns. It was really enjoyable. I just had I had the game music on. I wasn't watching streams or anything. I was just playing a game, which is so rare for me cuz usually my attention span is like I'm literally like a fly. I can, I it's like 10 seconds my attention span. He's going to do the new expansion in episode 10. Episode 10? Okay, well, I do agree that Attila the Hun is first. I do agree with that. That's Pog. <clears throat> How he's going to put Alaric on B and El Cid on C? How are you putting El Cid behind Alaric? <clears throat> what the fuck? He does every scenario of every campaign. <sighs> Orlando's got to get it together. Follow me on TikTok. 